Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. I'll tell you what, I have got a big problem today, and that problem happens to be about a 120 feet big problem. It's a poplar tree that's growing into the side of the sawmill that's going to have to be taken down. But I'll tell you what, one wrong move, and it could crush everything inside the sawmill. But with the help of Big John here, our new TYM 574, I don't think it's going to be a problem because this thing is a beast. My son actually flew in from Texas to help me do this. I've got a, about a two minute clip of my daughter at the airport picking him up and they actually there's a little surprise in there where they stop on the state line between North Carolina and Tennessee and did a little bit of hiking on the Appalachian Trail. Then right after that we're going to get busy and start sawing this big huge poplar down. So you guys be sure and stay tuned. Hey y'all, what are we doing? I am headed to get my brother from the Asheville airport, so right now I'm going through what we call the gorge. Um, if any of you all have been through here, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It feels like you're being like swallowed up by mountains. Um, it's really fun though. My ears are kind of acting odd because of the altitude. But anyway, so stay tuned. We're going to have a wonderful week um, of making memories, me aggravating my brother, and us for sure aggravating our dad. I'm here at the airport. I'm not sure if his flight just landed or not, but I did see um, the airline that he's coming in on. One of them just landed. So, hoping that's him. There he is, y'all. With the mask on. Look! Who is it? It's Puppy! Hi. We're back together, y'all. We are gonna hike about 15 foot of the AT. For all you guys, that is the Appalachian Trail. Look at this, y'all. Hey, Pappy. What's up? You know why your nose isn't 12 inches long? No. Otherwise it would be a foot. <laughs> <laughs> like the feet you walk on, you know? <laughs> That'd be really odd looking, right? Okay, y'all. Time to get back to Dad.
Tell you what folks, this sure made short work of getting that big old poplar down, and you know what? It didn't even struggle. I'll tell you what, this 574, I am certainly glad that I made this purchase. I really did like my Kubota, but as time went on, it became a little bit more and more apparent that it was just too lightweight to try to do what I'm doing around here. Because that poplar tree and many others is kind of the work that I'm doing now, so I needed something a little bit more suited better for the job that I was doing. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't checked out our other channel, Outpost Review, towards the end of the video, I'll leave a link up in the top right hand corner where you can go and check it out because I did a review from front to back and pretty much went over everything that's on it. But I'm certainly glad that we purchased this because it's going to make a whole lot of difference up here on the homestead. The kids and I are fixing to get geared up and go to the lake and have some fun, so y'all be sure and stay tuned. Dad and Pappy. Hey, what we doing? Hey, what we doing? I'm about to do me a little kayaking. We brought the old canoe.
Oh. What are we doing? Listen, why did the snowman go to the carrot patch? To pick his nose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey. All right. Did you know Yoda had a last name? Yale, yale, yale. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm certainly glad that we decided to go ahead and get this grapple because um, it's going to make a lot of difference on me being able to go into the woods, pick up a log, transport it up here, and set it down on the sawmill. I did purchase a set of forks when I had that Kubota, and they were okay. The only thing is, is when I and they're four feet long, when I would roll them out towards the end to try to get them on the bunks on the sawmill, uh, it would want to distribute the weight more and more forward which would lift up the rear end and then when I went in there and lined everything up now I'm out of line so it was a little bit difficult to do that um, but this since it will actually hold the log I can tip it over I can set it down there and you know no issue so I'm certainly glad that we went ahead and got this and it's going to come in handy for brush and things like that too but um, anyway we're really proud of our new TYM 574 I'll tell you what I can highly recommend this just with the little bit of driving that I have done and realizing the strength and the power that it has. So anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Hope you all have a great day. Y'all take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.